is blogging dead? That's one of the questions I get all the time when I teach online business and I'm teaching Kajabi stuff. And the answer is 1000% no. Recent studies as of this last month show that 77% of internet users read blogs. Blogs are most of the internet, if you think about it. So blogging is far from dead. It is a very valuable tool. So whether you wanna be just a blogger on Kajabi or you just wanna simply add a blog to your Kajabi site and business, I can show you how to do that. And Kajabi is the perfect platform to do this. Coming from someone who's been on WordPress for over a decade and moving my blog over to Kajabi, let me tell you, it is a great platform for hosting your blog and leveraging this such powerful tool when it comes to online business. If you don't have Kajabi, I want to get you hooked up today and give you a 30-day extended free trial. If you use my special Kajabi affiliate link, just click the link below in the description, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. You'll get 30 days instead of Kajabi's 14-day free trial that they offer on their website. I'm also going to send you a free mini course right away that I created called Ready, Set, Kajabi, which will help you understand how to get using Kajabi right away and make money on the platform in the first 30 days, including I share some of my favorite ninja marketing Kajabi tactics that you can use. And hey, if you stick around with Kajabi after the first 30 days and become a paying member of Kajabi, a couple cool things happen. One, part of your payment comes back to support me and this channel at no cost to you, which is an amazing gift to me. And so to honor you for that, I want to give you another course, my three-step sales copy formula mini course, just for free. So when you become a paying member using my link, just forward me your first month's receipt and I'll get you that course as my gift to you. It's all there at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. And if you already have Kajabi, well, then we're kindred spirits. Let's dive in. Let's talk about this. A lot of people will set up Kajabi for their products, maybe for their website, but they haven't started a blog yet. And this is for you, too, if you're a YouTuber or a podcaster, so pay attention. Uh, in Kajabi, under the website page, there is a blog tab. So click on the blog tab. And if you don't have a blog already, you're going to want to create your first post, okay? The idea here is that just like on WordPress or blogger.com or any of these blogging platforms, you're going to have a page on your Kajabi site that shows all your most recent blog posts, and you'll be able to click on those posts and see the full post that they can read and enjoy. Just like a news article, just like the Huffington Post, these are all blogs, right? So I'm, I'm pretty sure you understand the concept of blogging. Let me show you what it looks like when you create a new post. Click this button and you're gonna get an option to add media, either video or audio, um, which I'm gonna ignore for now, but I'm gonna come back to in a minute. Basic platform, right? Your title this is where you write the blog post, you can format it, you can add images, all that good stuff. You can create the blog image, so this is what you wanna to upload to be the representative image um, on your blog page. So when you see the blog title, you can have a stock image or whatever, up there, image alt text, okay? Just like this little pop-up says, describe the purpose of your image. This will help with SEO. This is something no one taught me early on. Alt text is super important for images on your website, especially blogs, because Google and other search engines will crawl and they don't see images the way we see them visually. They see the alternative text, the alt text associated with them. So, it is a great opportunity to put the right keywords. So for example, if I were gonna do a blog post on how to build an, an online mini course, like a mini course, right? I would probably have an image of like a laptop or something or a Kajabi, and I would wanna put alt text on that image here, right here, they give you a tab that says how to create your first mini course or something. So I have the same keywords associated with that image. It's gonna help this blog post rank higher because there's SEO keywords associated with not just the words I'm typing, but the actual image itself. So take advantage of the alt text. And then down here, I love this section, SEO and sharing. This is just so user friendly. So this is the URL. And so you can actually adjust the URL. So by default, whatever you title the post, so this might be like how to how to start an online business, right? By default, it's going to, it says this title will be used, if you leave it blank, it'll be grahamcochran.com slash blog slash whatever the title is with hyphens in it. So it'd be slash how hyphen to hyphen start hyphen online business. 
So that's the default, which is totally fine, for example. Like, leave it that way. But if you wanted to make it shorter, it can be like online business, one word, or mini course, or whatever. So you can create shorter custom URLs for your blog posts. And then page title and description are so important because, again, this is part of what the search engines are going to search. So the page title is what you're going to see up top. So if I show you up here at the top of this tab, Kajabi, it's saying Kajabi and then admin sites and blog posts. That's the page title for this page. If I go to my site and click on my blog tab and click on this blog post, how to achieve all your goals in 2022, now we're on the blog post. This is what it looks like. First of all, you can see the title, How to Achieve All Your Goals in 2022. If you look up in the URL box, there's the title because I didn't make a custom one. It's slash blog slash How to Achieve All Your Goals in 2022. And then up here in the tab, it says How to Achieve All Your Goals in 2022. Okay? That is the page title. I could change that to be Achieve Your Goals in 2022. I could get rid of the how to or I could write goal setting 2022. Doesn't matter, but that is this section here, page title, okay? 60 characters or less. Very important because A, it's visual, people will see it in the tabs, but B, it's part of what Google can crawl. Page description. So take a paragraph from your blog post or write a brief one to four sentence description with the keywords of what this blog post is all about. This will give, again, the search engines more stuff to crawl. And then this social media image. This is the image you want to upload that you want when people retweet this post or share it on Facebook or whatever. When it's looking to pull an image, this is the image it's going to pull. So if you ever feel like your blog post when it's shared on Twitter is pulling a random image inside the blog article that you don't want to choose or pull, Upload the, the image you want here for them to pull. This is the one that social media platforms will pull. Okay, a lot of people don't understand that. It's so simple. You've got everything you need here. Write the blog, come up with a title, put the title in the page title, write a page description, choose a social media image, upload an, an image for your blog post. It could be the same as a social media image, but upload in both places, create some alt text, and then tags. Tags are more for internal organization. So if you look at this blog post here, grow your income is a tag. I just made it. When you click on that tag, now it's going to pull up all the posts that have grow your income in the tag. Okay. This is just one way for you to categorize all your blog posts for your readers uh, or for yourself. You don't have to do this. It's completely optional. It's internal. I don't know if the social, uh, uh, social media or search engines will crawl this. It's mostly an internal thing. Make sense? So that's how you create your post. Now, people ask, Graham, should I upload my YouTube videos here? If I have a YouTube video and I want to turn it into a blog post as well, should I be uploading videos here? Should I upload my audio here? Let's talk about this. And I use myself as an example. Okay, here's a blog post, how to sell anything to anyone. When I got started Years ago on the Recording Revolution, I wrote two blog posts a week and uploaded one YouTube video a week. So it was three pieces of content a week, two written articles, one video. These days, I just do one piece of content a week and I have it on multiple platforms. So I have a YouTube video, a podcast episode, and a blog post. And I don't do it fully the way I maybe would like to because I'm lazy. Maybe I'll get around to it one day, but I'm going to show you what I do do and then show you what you could do if you had more uh, gusto than me. This is a video called How to Sell Anything to Anyone. I video my podcasts. So this is a podcast on the podcast app and it's made for audio, but it's also a YouTube video and I film it simultaneously. So I upload to YouTube and I upload to my podcast, which I do natively here in Kajabi. I used to use another platform, but when Kajabi launched podcasts. I do that. I have an entire video on how to launch and host your podcast on Kajabi. So just search that on my YouTube channel. But I also create a blog post for every single video slash podcast every single week. So when I shot this video, upload, it goes live on YouTube. It goes live on my podcast feed, but it also is a blog post where what I do is instead of uploading a video, 
I embed the video. So let me go find this post here when I go to my blog. How to sell anything to anyone. Here's what it looks like inside. Instead of uploading the video here, I don't want it natively hosted in Kajabi. I want the views on YouTube. So I embed the YouTube video at the top of my blog post. I just get the sharing link or the embed link from YouTube and I paste it right here in the blog post and it shows up. And then I take my YouTube description and I paste it here as the blog post. Okay. It's very straightforward. And what this gives me is the ability for people to see my YouTube video and watch it. And if they want to read a description, they can. But really, these words are for SEO purposes. Online business owner, selling, online business world, right? These are all keywords when it comes to selling an online business. So I want to have some text for the search engines to crawl. The ultimate would be if you have a video, if you transcribe the video, clean it up and make it a legitimate blog post. Now, a couple of ways to do this. There are transcription tools that are both paid and free. Even a tool such as Loom, which is a free video app, you could upload your video to Loom and it has an auto transcribe function. So you could get a free transcription from them. Um, but you're going to have to clean it up because, again, so it's going to garble some of your words. It's not perfect. You're going to have to format it. But create a written version of the video so people can read it if they don't want to watch it. It also will give you more keyword opportunity for the search engines to crawl. And if you have a podcast, you can have the show notes here as well. So you could have all the links you mentioned in the episode. You could have uh, any, any specific quotes or whatever or tweetables from the episode. It could all be pasted here into a blog post on Kajabi. And then you can actually have the blog audio itself be uploaded, excuse me, the, the podcast audio itself be uploaded right here so people can press play and listen to the podcast right on the blog page. So you could add a ton of juicy content all to your blog post. Again, you could schedule it for a specific date or just publish it. It's a very, very basic thing. This is blogging and it does everything you need to do inside of Kajabi. But let me show you how to edit the blog page inside of your website. So if we go to the website and we go to customize, now you're in your website builder and you're going to have up here what page you're on. We're on the home page, but we could go to the blog page and this is going to show you when people click on the blog tab, what does your website look like? So you're going to be able to decide if you want certain things on the sidebar. The blog sidebar is right here. So I've got a search box. I've got a custom block, which I'm using for my uh, opt-in. And then I've got social links. You can add whatever content you want there on the sidebar. Buttons, images, categories, a little thing about the author. So you don't have to have a sidebar. You could get rid of the sidebar. The blog listing body is going to show what kind of content do you want here, blah, blah, blah. That's on the blog page, but you go to the blog post itself. Now this is on every blog post. What will the posts look like? This is where I've added a few things. For example, I've got an opt-in box at the bottom of every blog post. And so what I've got here is blog post body. I've added an opt-in and that is what I've got down here. So you can easily add an opt-in form for your lead magnet and have it automatically show up on every single blog post you ever post. So you create it once inside of the website customization on the blog post page. Again, I put it inside the blog post body. I added an opt-in. You can add call to action, which is just a button. I added the opt-in so they could type in their email address or you can add an image. It can always show up at the bottom of every single blog post. Make sense? You can show the date or not on your blog articles. I choose not to so that they seem to just be more evergreen and not be dated. And then you have a lot of other controls there. So I just want you to know this is where you customize what your blog posts look like, your blog page looks like, all kinds of control you have there. One final thought here is you don't have to have your blog to be called a blog. If you don't like that language in your menu, you can change that tag in the menu or the navigation to be free content or free resources or videos or free training or whatever you want. 
start here. I mean, it could be whatever you want. So if you want to get away from the blog language, you can, but just keep that in mind that that's what they're going to call it in Kajabi, and it's a great tool. You want a blog on your site, if for nothing else, to create more pathways for people to discover you by having all kinds of keywords and SEO juice for the search engines. So you're already creating content, whether it's a podcast or a video or a blog. Why not leverage that into a blog on your Kajabi site to draw more and more traffic to what you're doing so they can see your opt-ins, get on your list, and get into one of your evergreen products and build your business. That's how I do it on Kajabi. Let me know how you're using blogs on Kajabi or if you have any other blogging questions when it comes to Kajabi. And again, if you haven't checked out Kajabi or want to sign up for a 30-day free trial using my affiliate link, just click the link in the description, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. You're going to get up to two free courses. You know all the goodies. It's all there, here to serve you. And if you've gotten value out of these videos, I hope you will sign up with my link. It does help me and it costs you nothing. So it's the easy way for you to show some love back to me after all the love I'm trying to put out here for you with these Kajabi tutorials. That's it for today, my friend. Have an amazing day. Have fun building your blog on Kajabi. And I'll see you in another Kajabi tutorial real soon.